how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. We're continuing on with the 2023 makeup collection and declutter series. This one is gonna be intense. We are attacking all of my lip products today. In the past, I've broken it up on glosses, lipsticks, and liquid lipsticks and made separate videos. This time, I really just wanna do it all at once. I feel like I've honestly been pretty brutal in the series so far, as far as like just really condensing it down to things that I love and I'm using. And I really wanna continue that through the lip one. There are definitely so many lip products that I have that I never reach for. And I wanna condense this down quite a bit. I do not know how many I have as of this moment, haven't filmed that portion of the declutter yet, but I'm very much looking forward to getting into it. We're gonna go over lip pencils, lip glosses, lipsticks, liquid lipsticks. We're gonna attack it all, and I'm super excited to share it with you. Before we get into it, I did of course film this look. It should already be on my channel by the time this video goes up. It's my look that I did with the Bella Beauty Bar Bejeweled Palette. As far as my accessories go, these earrings were a gift, so I don't know where they're from. So sorry. And then of course, just a few quick things before we get into it. Number one, please don't get offended if I declutter your favorite lip product. I'm so glad it's your favorite. I truly am. It's just not mine for whatever reason. Number two, please don't ask me to send you anything. I feel weird and icky giving used makeup to people I don't know. And especially lip products. That, that's, that's icky. I'm only gonna give dibs to like my close friends and family on things that are gently used. Um, I'll donate what I'm able to if I have some things that by chance aren't used and I'm gonna toss and recycle the things that are past their point of no return. And lastly, don't feel pressured to declutter your collection if that is not what you need in your life. It's just what I need in mine. I personally love doing a little reset at the end of every year. I accumulate a lot of makeup, doing this as part of my job and I, I don't wanna keep everything. <laughs> it's unrealistic, it creates too much clutter, and then I'm not able to use things anyways because I have too much of it. So this is just what works for me. But without further ado, let's just hop into it and do a massive lip collection and declutter. All right, good morning, everybody. <laughs> I, I'm intimidated to say the least. Um, I got all this set up yesterday and I could not believe how many things I had. We have as long as I counted correctly, which I may have miscounted because there's a lot, but I have 340 things to talk about today when it comes to pencils, regular lipstick, liquid lipstick and gloss. Liquid lipstick and gloss is definitely where the majority is gonna come from. And I, I don't know what's gonna happen, but I know I need this to get condensed down. I really use a lot of the same stuff. Not to say I don't want options because I do feel adventurous every so often, but also like I do tend to gravitate towards just like a sheer gloss or a neutral lip, but I do like a bold lip every so often. It's a little more few and far between right now just because I have Invisalign and it's a lot easier to get all over your Invisalign when you have a bold lip as opposed to just something soft and glossy. Um, but regardless, that's neither here nor there. We are going to condense this. I would love to cut this in half if possible, get it closer to 170 instead of 340. Um, but we're just gonna see. We're gonna start with the easy ones. We're gonna start with pencils and regular lipsticks because I'll be honest, I don't feel like I hoard these anyways. I'm not gonna get rid of too many. I just wanna get that ball rolling and then we'll move into the, the hefty stuff. And again, continuing on with this, um, I'm not swatching everything. I'm simply not swatching 340 lip products today. It's not happening. That is gonna take me 500 years. I think that's just going to overwhelm me. I honestly think it's going to overwhelm you because I will have too many swatches to keep track of on my body. Um, so I'm just going based off vibes. I'm going again, just based on what I use, what I don't, what I enjoy, what I don't care about, things like that. So let's just get into it. We're starting with pencils and we have 42 here. And it's pretty funny because I remember a time when I was like so anti-lip pencil. I thought it was like the most pointless part of makeup, but now I wear a lip pencil pretty much every day. Um, I do love most of these. I think if I had to pick an absolute favorite, it's the Rare Beauty ones. I just think they are so top notch. They're creamy and blendable. They're just amazing. A good range of like various neutral and pinky tones. I think these are stellar pencils. There are, I think, 10. Yeah, and there were like 10 matching lipsticks as well. I just think this was such a beautiful launch from Rare Beauty last year. I reach for these constantly. I think my number one favorite is Wise, this kind of like brown shade. Um, so good. My next favorite, which unfortunately don't exist anymore, are the Blend Bunny lip pencils. These came in the initial lip kit when she first had her liquid lips. I think with the, I don't remember which collection, one of the neutral palettes. Um, 
but these came with it and I don't think these are available anymore because anytime I try to link them, they aren't on the website. So I really hope Lem Bunny brings back the lip pencils because these are so creamy and good. Um, these are just a mixture of like a red, a dark red, a neutral and a pink. And these are just so unbelievably amazing. They're so creamy. I've also really, really been loving the Lawless lip pencils. I think there's like eight of them that came out alongside their lipsticks. Their lipsticks are really good too, but I'll get into that because there's a couple shades I don't need from that range. But I think these are very good. Again, mostly just kind of on the, the pinky tone side, some mauve shades, some neutrals, that pop of red. I think these give me some options that like Rare Beauty doesn't have. Um, and again, I reach for these a lot. Like I'm pretty fluid with reaching between different brands for lip pencils as far as the ones that I have are concerned. So I'll keep these also. I really like these unearthly cosmetic ones too. These came out more recently and I think they're fun. They're, they're pretty creamy and glide nicely and they have funky colors like shades that I don't have in the other ranges like weird reds, weird pinks, a purple, some like more grungier browns. Um, I'll keep these also. I think I have a black one. Yeah, there's a black one in here. These are, these are my good weird pencils. <laughs> and this is what we're left with. I have a few from ColourPop, which I actually decluttered all my ColourPop ones last year because the Rare Beauty ones kind of took over for me, but then ColourPop sent me some restocks of things at some point in the year. I get very infrequent ColourPop PR packages, but this was randomly one of them. Um, and I was like, maybe I do still want these pencils. So I was like, let me test them out again. They're not bad pencils, like don't get me wrong. I've always enjoyed the formula. It's just more of like a, did I need it with what I already had sort of thing. Um, and now that I'm here, I really don't, you know? Like I have these shades in Rare Beauty, in Lawless, in Unearthly, in Blend Bunny even with the one of the neutrals possibly. Um, so I think I'm gonna declutter these once again. If these come around again next year, I'm going to just save them for a friend and not open them again, Betty G. <laughs> Clearly you don't need them. I have these two from the Glam Light and Chucky collection. I believe it's a neutral and a red. Are these a neutral and a red or are they both neutral? Now I'm unsure. Okay, so like a brown and a neutral. I think one of the lipsticks is a red. I don't know. Um, but again, I just don't really think I need these. I haven't reached for these, I think, since the collection launch. So I think that says something. Not a bad formula, like I was pleased enough with it, I just don't need it. And then I have these from Salem Cosmetics. These are a good formula too. It's again, just kind of a matter of what do I need, what do I not need? Um, so just various like brown and pinky shades. Again, I think I can probably just let these go just based on what I already have. I don't think I need to keep these just for the sake of it. Um, this is a really nice formula though, I feel like um, lip pencils, Salem Cosmetics has always done a pretty good job with. I just don't think I personally need to keep these around. All right, well, we're already off to a better start than I thought we'd be. Um, we started with 42, I decluttered 10, now we have 32. So I actually didn't expect that. I thought I was gonna get rid of maybe two of them. So that's good. Let's move on to lipsticks now. All right, back with the, the lipsticks here. We have um, 39 and I actually had already realized I miscounted. I thought I had 37. So change that grand total now to 342 instead of 340. Um, 39 lipsticks here. I, again, I feel like I reach for the same stuff. Like last year I decluttered pretty much all of them except for my Rare Beauty ones, just because again, this was such a beautiful launch. They matched the lip liners perfectly. Just various shades of like pinky, brownie. I love the Rare Beauty ones. I think they are so creamy and so good. So I decluttered pretty much all of my lipsticks except these. I kept a few other ones mixed in, um, but these are still my favorite formula. I think they're really, really good. They literally match those lip liners perfectly. This one's wise actually. This one's my favorite that like, brownie shade, but um, same names as the lip pencils. These are really, really good. So I'm gonna keep these. I next definitely wanna keep some of these lawless ones. The only ones I don't wanna keep are the two light ones. No, Fawn was fine. We have Fawn. <laughs> Let's just go through these. Morocco I think was fine. Yeah, this one's just a brown. These are also really, really creamy and beautiful. Wedding Day. No, that one was fine too. Just like a, a mauvey pink. Annie might've been one of the ones that's too light. I will check that in a second. Um, who's that lady? I think this is a red. Yeah. Ooh, Cookie's my favorite. It's just a beautiful brown. <laughs> I love a, like a neutral brownie tone. Femme, a cute mauvey pink. Daisy Girl's another just like pinky shade. Where is the scary one? Tropic I think is like an orangey. No, it's not orangey. It's just like a warmer neutral. Platinum, this is the scary one. It doesn't look scary in the tube, but it's literally like concealer lips on me. 
It doesn't even look that scary on my hand, but I can only wear this with like a dark, dark lip liner and like blend it out. And honestly, like I just have other things I'd rather use in place of that. So I don't want that one. It's just not my color. Minx is another mauve tone. What are you? Soft truffle. Yeah, I like soft truffle also. So that means fawn. Yeah, is the other one that's just a little too pale for me. They really don't look that scary on my hand, but they are not my favorite on my mouth. So I will declutter these two Lawless ones. Another thing I don't think I need are these balms from Lawless. They're like the lip plumping lip balms. This one's in the shade Juicy Watermelon. And this one is Pink Marshmallow, which I actually do like it. I just literally don't use it. So um, I will pass on these. Last year I saved these Urban Decay ones from getting decluttered. This is Art Walk. And then this one is uh, Naked. You know how many times I've used them in the last year? Not a singular time, I believe so. I'm gonna declutter them. Let's see, let's see. Same with these ColourPop ones. I saved these from the declutter last year and I don't think I've used them once. We have Call Waiting, which is a beautiful like plummy tone, but I obviously am not reaching for it even though that color is beautiful. And then this one is Belle from the Disney Princess Vault. Definitely have not been using that either, so. Let those go. If they've been sitting around not getting used, there's no reason for me to keep it. I've had a year to play with these, you know what I mean? Um, I have the two Chucky ones from Glam Light. We have uh, Chucky and Tiffany, obviously. Chucky's more of just like a brownie neutral, and then Tiffany is a, yeah, like a plummy red color. I don't think I really need these, I'll be honest with you, so I'm gonna let them go. Again, decent formula, like they're creamy, they're nice. I just, like, I'm not using them. This Beauty Bakery one, Peanut Butter Buster. <laughs> Does Beauty Bakery even still make makeup anymore? Um, I love this color, this like yummy, warm, orangey brown, but I also have not used this in the last year. I feel like I've had this for probably at least five years and I've barely used it, so I need to stop clinging to it as much as I love the color. I'm clearly not using it. This one from Mel in 710. Oh, I love this color, this yellowy brown. Uh, but again, I just don't use it. But I really want to. Same with this one. I keep the stupid Beauty Bakery one every year. You know, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna try to use these more because I love these kinds of a color. I just reach for my liquid lipsticks over my regular lipsticks when it comes to these grungy colors. But I do love the feeling of a creamy lipstick. So I am going to try to wear these. <laughs> I'm keeping them both. I have these two Sugar Pill ones. Patrol, oh, this is like the most perfect sparkly holiday red. It's like glittery. It's really, really cute. And I think this one's Hydro. Yeah, this one's like a sparkly teal. It's so cool. Like I do not wear these very often because they're just like so in your face, especially the tealy blue one. Um, but they're just so fun. They're so unique and the formula is really cool. So I'm going to keep these two. And then there were the Odin's Eye ones. Let's see. Let's see. These two are velvet lipsticks. These two are matte lipsticks. Um, so we have Fig Jam and Red Cherry. Fig Jam's the darker one. Red Cherry's the brighter one. Tulip A Kiss right here is probably my favorite one. Which one are you? Brown Rose. Ooh, maybe Brown Rose actually. No, probably Tulip A Kiss. And then Love Jasmine. No, this one's my favorite. <laughs> you can tell it's the most used. Um, I definitely don't think I need these three reds anymore, but I think I will keep Tulip A Kiss and Love Jasmine. I like that brownie tone. I'm more likely to reach for those. I just don't need a million red bullet lipsticks. I don't reach for them very often. If I'm gonna wear a red, I prefer um, a liquid more times than not just because it's more transfer resistant. Um, so I think I can let these go. I clearly have not been using them. All right, well, we started with 39, decluttered 13. Now I have 26. So I did pretty good with that. I cut like a third of it out. Um, oh, I don't know what I wanna do next between glosses and liquid lipsticks. These are gonna be the big ones. Uh, let's do gloss next. I think I'm feeling glossy. Let me gather all 129 of them really quick. All right, 129 glosses. I know it doesn't look like it, but it's because they literally all can't fit in the frame. So we'll continue scooting as, as I make progress. Um, 129, that's 129 too many. No, that's not true. <laughs> I would definitely like to probably keep, again, probably half of them, like 60, 65, 70, somewhere in that zone. Um, so let's figure out what I love and what I don't love. What do I love the most that's in frame currently? I really do like these unearthly ones, but I think the ones that I like the most 
are the sparkly ones. I do like the cream texture ones too, but I don't think I need the cream texture ones. So maybe let's let's separate that, the, the cream versus the, the sparkle. And there they are. We have sappy, candy cane spice, drizzle, creamer, juice, ripe. I don't think I need to keep these ones. I just, I tend to be a sparkly gloss kind of person, so I'd rather just give these ones to a friend. And then the sparkly ones, we have Avery, Moss, Ornament, Cupid, Zest, Glint, Emma. These are all so beautiful. I just love the sparkle on them. I think they're lovely. I actually have another Cupid from the old packaging, so I'll declutter that one as well. And then this is the, the Heather Austin collab one in the shade Omen. This one is beautiful. By far my favorite unearthly one. It's so good. Just scoot some of these guys in here a little bit more. Um, I guess while we're here, I really love these Kaleidos ones. They're just so pretty. Hypnotize, fantasize, dramatize, crystallize. They're all just like smooth like emollient, sparkly, slippy, glidey glosses. These are so beautiful. They don't make them anymore, unfortunately. I feel like Kaleidos gets rid of everything good. <laughs> like I have such a bone to pick with that brand. Um, but these are something that's amazing and I'm gonna keep them. All right, so where to go next? Where to go from here? Um, maybe Sugar Pill? Sugar Pill glosses? Um, Flicker and Bloom are must keeps for me. They're longtime favorites. I love the sparkle. I love the emollient slippy feeling. These are staples. I also really like Purity. Purity is a really good one too with like the baby pink sparkle. It's super cute. And then we have these ones, uh, Sugar Coat, Crystal Trinket, Friend Zone, and Honey Drip or Honey Dip, I should say. Um, you know, I honestly love all four of these. I think they're all amazing, so I'll keep these too. I also wanna keep my Dose of Colors ones. We have um, Jazzy, Flashy, and The Most. The Most is beyond old. <laughs> it's from the old Desi X Katie collection, but I'm gonna keep scraping it until it's gone. That's what I did with Over the Top, and that's what I'm gonna do with The Most. Actually, you know what? I don't know if I need Jazzy anymore. I don't really reach for this one, and I have other glosses that give like I don't know, this vibe. So I think I can let this one go. It's it's getting pretty old. I have this Ulta plumped up pout one in candy stick. Still such a good plumping gloss. I still want more shades of it and I've still yet to do it, but I will keep this one. You know, it probably seems like I'm doing a lot of keeping and not a lot of decluttering. Um, and that's true. I'm just trying to like narrow it down with things that I know that I'm gonna keep. Um, I actually think I can get rid of these cream lip stains from Odin's Eye. I used to love this formula, like I used to use them all the time and I still think it's a nice formula. I don't know if they even exist anymore, but um, I just don't use these. Like I do not remember the last time I reached for them. So I think it's, I think it's time to let them go, but they were fun while they lasted. The colors, colors do not reflect the, the label. They're all a lot more like subdued and neutral or bright red, no in between. So I can let these go. These Lunar Beauty ones are great, honestly. Like we have so many, Good ones here. Bitchcraft is my favorite over here. And then we have Moon, Coven, and Celine. I think these are all really, really good. I like this formula a lot. And they smell like cake. Making progress slowly but surely. Um, I do love these three from Melt. They are so glittery and sparkly. I think they're plumping as well. We have Attitude, Flare, and Rebel. They're just like sparkly, glitzy, wonderful. They're such cool glosses, so I wanna keep these. Let's see, let's see. Um, some more must-haves. Sigma Lip Oil in the shade Tint. I wear this literally all the time. I think it's so good. I guess on the topic of lip oils, the Blend Bunny ones, I'm gonna keep all of them except for the new ones, the blue one and the black one. These leave a really cool effect on the lips, but the thing is for me, when I use these lip oils, these were things I just keep in my bag and I just throw it on to add like hydration throughout the day. It's a very tiny bit of tint. Like they basically are clear with just like a little bit of something. So I feel like I'm gonna be able to wear all of these like until they're completely gone um, and just like use them as like nourishment throughout the day with a little bit of added cuteness. These ones are more like a choice. And again, I do like the effect that they have because it kind of like melds in with your like natural lip color to create like a mauve kind of vibe. But I feel like if I want a mauve kind of vibe, I can just get it through a mauve lip, you know what I mean? Um, I just don't think I'm gonna reach for these enough, so I'd rather give them to a friend. I think they're really cool and they feel super nice. They're just not my perfect product. The other six I absolutely will keep. The clear one has been living in my bag lately. <laughs> Let's see, I don't think I need this AF94 one. I just don't reach for it. What are you called? Underneath it all, 
I just, I forget that this exists, so I could let that one go. I think I can also let some of these old ColourPop ones go. These ones are just getting pretty old. They're a little gross. Like the So Juicy ones are leaking everywhere. They're sticky. I don't really want to use them, so I think that says enough. Honestly, I think my favorite lip formula from ColourPop is the So Glassy formula. So I think I'll keep these So Glassy ones, because I think they're just so good. They're sparkly and like glidey on the lips. They're so pretty. Various shades there for you. Uh, my goodies, no joke, set free, beach please, sunshine required, lucid dreams. These are just so, so pretty. So I'll, I'll keep these ones. But I think I can get rid of the lip lacquers and glass glossy lip stains that I still have. Um, and it looks like my camera's about to die because I've already been talking for a million hours. So I'm gonna take a breakfast break and then we'll continue. All right, back from my breakfast break. I feel like I have a second wind now to keep going. Um, I guess I have this other random ColourPop one, the ultra glossy lip in uh, All Me. I don't think I need to keep this, to be honest with you. Fenty, 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 Fenty. Let's see, these three I love. The original Fenty Glow Gloss Balm, the Gloss Balm Heat in Lemon Lava, and then the Cold Hearted Gloss Balm Ice. Um, this one's just like your, your standard lovely gloss. This one is a plumping gloss and it has gold sparkle. It has like that warm plumping feeling where it feels like hot kind of, it's, it's really nice. And then the cold hearted one is just a clear gloss, but it has like a minty tingle. It's not plumping. It just feels cold and minty. It's really refreshing in my opinion. So I'm gonna keep these, but I think I can let go of this one in Fenty Glow. It's just like a cream gloss. Um, I don't think I need this one. I forget that I have it. Oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I have these from Nomad over here. These came in the Fe de Provence collection. Um, these are really pretty. And they're fairly unique glosses. Like they're so sparkly. They have really nice colors to them. You know, I think I will keep these because I just, I love a sparkly gloss and these ones are just unreal. All right, we're getting through it. Um, the three that came with the Odin's Eye Angelica collection, Glow, Shine, and Spectre. Um, I really like these. So I think I'll keep these ones. I think these are a really nice formula. I'd like to honestly see them do more with that formula. Let's see, let's see. Lawless, why am I procrastinating? Lawless has my favorite plumping gloss formula, maybe just gloss formula of all time. Um, the only thing I would change is I would add sparkle, <laughs> but they are so deliciously like minty plumping. They look gorgeous on the lips. I wear one of these almost all the time. Um, let's go with this one first. This is Rosy Outlook. They sent me a jumbo size and this is my favorite one from them. It's just like a sheer pink. So it's basically clear, um, but this is my favorite one. So I'll keep that. And I think I have Rosy Outlook. Yes, in a regular size. So I'll give this one to a friend, although this one's very used. Maybe I won't give this one to anybody, um, but I'm gonna declutter this one to say the least. I think all these other ones I'm gonna keep if I'm not mistaken. We have George Secret Magic, Lavender Sorbet, and Cherry Vanilla. George is one of my favorites. It's just like a really pretty brownie color. Definitely keeping. Juicy Watermelon, Violet Bloom, and So Me. They're just so pretty. I love the colors. Lawless is one of those brands that I did not expect to become like one of my top favorites, but they did. And then I have these minis. We have Nudie, Rose Pearl, uh, Velvet, Bitten, and Blushed Sand. Some of these are actually more like shimmery. So these are lovely. Honestly, I saw myself doing a more brutal declutter with the liquid lipsticks and the glosses, but I do think I have some that I can declutter for sure. Um, let's see. These lethal ones are really pretty. I think they decluttered them though, unfortunately. These glosses, we have X-ray, Limelight, Ultraviolet, Duality, and Refraction. They're super cute. I think I can let go of the clear one just because I have other clears that I'm reaching for first. Um, but these other ones, like they're just so sparkly and they're just so smooth and pretty and I have to have them. Um, this is from the Ofra Ali Dawson collab. Ali Dawson's my friend. This isn't really a brand I typically like use or shop from, but I was super excited when the collection got sent to me. Um, and I'm proud of her. This is her gloss Koa and I'll keep that one. All right, so let's see. We have Fantasy Cosmetica, Salem, CoverGirl, Milk Makeup, and Rare Beauty. Hmm. I do like these CoverGirl yummy glosses. They're really, really nice. I like the fruity juiciness. Let's see, Milk Makeup. These Odyssey glosses are really, really nice. They're like lip oil glosses. It's like kind of a hybrid between the two. Definitely want to keep the two sparkly ones. Explore and Globetrot. They're so pretty. I also really like this one in Quest. I feel like I've used Quest quite a bit. 
Oh, this one's sparkly too. Uh, Trek, gotta keep Trek. This one's just a clear one. We have like a pink. I really do like all of these. I don't think I need the clear. I don't need to keep a million clears. Oh man, this is tough. Oh, the baby pink one has sparkle in it too. Soul Search. And then there's just these two. Work, Trip, and Voyage. Oh, who am I kidding? I'm keeping them. All right, these Fantasy Cosmetica ones I think are really nice. I think they're a good lip oil formula. I think they have pretty good pigmentation for them being a lip oil because I feel like lip oils aren't supposed to be super pigmented and I feel like they kind of walked that line really nice where they have pigment but they're not like insane. I do only want to keep my favorites though. And I think that's going to be, I do like the shimmer green one. What are you called? Archfey. And then this red one's really nice as well, Fiend. I do like these two. Efree is also pretty cool. I don't think I need it though. I think I might just keep these two and I'll give the other three to a friend. Just because I know I'm only going to reach for so many of them. Um, Salem Cosmetics. These are their glosses. Celeste, Luna, Bunny, and Salem. These are their better gloss formula. They are, their glosses in the past were not my favorite. Um, they definitely stepped it up a lot. I especially like these two sparkly ones, but just compared to other things that I have, they're still not like my top favorite, um, but they are much, much better. Like I would recommend buying these now versus before, um, but they're just not one that I'm reaching for. So I'm gonna give these to a friend so they can get more love. And then we have Rare Beauty. I have some of the lip oil, tinted lip oils. They're kind of like a glossy texture and then when it fades away there's like a like a lip tint left behind and then i have two of these glossy lip balms is that what these are called i think so i i don't know it just says balm um i will say i haven't been reaching for these like i don't think i've used these at all this year so i'm gonna let these go i do really like these tinted lip oils though i think they're really really pretty they're kind of made to match a lot of their liquid blushes like they have the same names like uh serenity wonder affection joy like a lot of these come in a blush as well if not all of them but which ones do i want to keep because i definitely don't think i need them all i do like serenity serenity's a good one where's hope i've worn hope a lot well there's hope and happy i think i've worn hope more though i do like honesty also and maybe 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 delight Keep these four, declutter these four. I think that sounds good. Okay, not a very brutal declutter in the gloss department. <laughs> we started with 129, I decluttered 44, now I have 85. I don't think that's bad though. I got rid of like a third of them. So I think that was still pretty successful. I weeded out some things that I wasn't really using, just kept the things that I feel like I love, which I do love a lot of gloss, so that was tough. Um, but hopefully I will be more brutal with the liquid lipsticks. Let's uh, let's see what I can accomplish. <laughs> All right, Liquid Lipstick Central. Um, we have 134. I thought it was 132, so miscounted again. So change that grand total to 344. 134 liquid lipsticks. So many of these I'm not using, but there's also so many that I am using. So this is gonna be tough. Um, let's start with things that I know for a fact that I'm keeping. Like that's always an easy place to start for me. Um, and that's gonna be my Kaleidos Lip Clays. I just. I love these with my whole heart. There's so many good colors. We have various shades of like neutral, red, pink, brown, black, purple. Um, did I say teal? There's a teal in here. There's just so many good shades. I literally use them all. <laughs> um, I reach for them pretty constantly. I think they're such a fantastic formula. They're like kind of moussey. They're like a liquid, like they go on like a liquid but then they dry down kind of like a powdery texture. They don't move. They're just so comfortable. Like forever one of my favorite gloss formulas. I'm not gloss, liquid lipstick formulas. All right, now let's maybe nitpick some things I don't care about. Um, similar to the cream lip stains from Odin's Eye, the matte lip stains I also just haven't used in a long time. Uh, we have ripe papaya, sweet peach, red apple. Again, I don't even know if they make this formula anymore. I used to like it a lot. I just don't reach for it anymore. So I can declutter these. I think I can honestly let go of these ColourPop ones as well. I have like these fresh kiss lip creams, which I do really like this formula. We have Page Me. Uh, this is from the Legend of Korra collection. What are you called though? Loyal Friend, um, BB Spice, Baby Doll. This one was my favorite. 
uh, from the line, and then Partner in Crime. I just, I don't reach for these for some reason anymore. I used to all the time, but now not so much, so I can let these go. I think same with these Game Beauty ones. These are from the Persona 5 Royals collection, um, which I really enjoyed this collection. Like, I literally started playing the game because of this collection. I think it's overall a really fun, well-done collection, but these are just like, I don't know. I think the formula is good. I just don't really think about using them. So I'd rather give them to a friend where they'll actually get used more often. Again, I like the formula. I think they perform really nicely. Um, I just don't wanna keep things just for the sake of keeping them. So I'll give these to a friend. Wow, this is already harder than I thought. I like wanna keep everything. Um, these two I can probably let go of. I have this one from Rare Beauty in Fearless. It's like a moussey texture. I love this color. Like I love a brownie neutral, but I don't think I've used this the last year. And then the Like Fine Wine Matte Liquid Lip from AF94. It's just a red. It's a fine red, but I don't really need to keep it. Wow, this is already really tough. I really thought I was gonna be more brutal with my lips than I am. <laughs> and I think I'm doing a good job. I just, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I feel like I'm stumped. So many of these I love. Let's go back to things that I'm definitely keeping. Blend Bunny, these for sure. All of these Blend Bunny liquid lipsticks, I have to keep. I just love these. I wish that she'd bring back the lip pencils, but at least she's kept the liquid lipsticks going. We have so many good shades. Doll face, haunting like a pro, sweetheart, runaway, tease, moody, just like various reds, neutrals, mauves. This formula is so top tier. What an amazing formula, just a top tier brand. They're so unbeatable. I love my Melt Liquid Lipsticks. I have quite a few of them. Shade, Chestnut, Poser, Maya, Golden, Ginger, Fawn. Just various grungy shades. Purples, like grungy plums, yellowy tones, black, grungy brown. Such an amazing formula. Like This is one of my favorite formulas of all time. Let's see, Menagerie. I have a bunch of them. The brand's also been sending me them because I've done a few swatch, like lip swatch pictures for the brand. Um, so I know all of these ones are like new, they're fresh, they're great, especially because it's like, this is the newer packaging. This is their old packaging. This is their really old packaging. So what I actually want to do is just look on their website and see if any of these older packaging ones are still available. Because if they are, I'll keep them in case I do more work for the brand. But if they're unavailable, then that probably means these are too old to keep. <laughs> so let me, let me do a little search really quick. Mako is still around, so I'll keep that one. Mirabelle, I'll keep that one. I think that one's fairly new. Well, maybe I got it like two years ago. Aurelia. Honestly, it's mostly just these two that are down here that I'm kind of sus about. Hungry Eyes is safe. Hyacinth. I love this one. I think that's such a cool color. I don't think Leviathan's available anymore, but I think I'm still gonna keep it because it's just such a cool teal. Um, but Alpha and Gator, as I suspected, are not available as far as I can tell. And these, these are probably at least five years old. It's time to let them go. <laughs> Very cool colors, but I have other similar ones. Like there's other neutrals in this range. Um, Juniper's a really cool green um so i have i have various things here you know i guess part of this is because i really have been pickier on like what i use as far as like new makeup that comes into my life so i haven't tried like so many new lip products that like i didn't think i would love long term so now it's like really hard to declutter any which like i don't have to declutter any like i could keep all of these um let's see let's see Love these black moon ones. Like these ones have to stay. Uh, they're so dirty and gross and old. Um, but we have Sleepwalker, Cider, Hazel, and Purgatory. They're just like such amazing staple colors. Like these are in my top 10 for sure. I think I can let go of this one in Sweet Tooth from Sugar Pill. Like it's cute, but I, I don't, I'm not tied to it. So I can let that one go. Zaya and Hallow's Eve from Lunar Beauty. I love this formula. These colors are so cute. These Give Me Glow ones are super pretty. We have a Sweater Weather and then Whiskey and Honey. Just like beautiful fall colors. I mean, or all year round, obviously, but these scream fall to me. Um, I'm gonna keep them. These Sigma lip creams are really nice. We have the five original ones that they came out with pretty recently, actually. We have Rosewood, Dusty Rose, Begonia, New Mod, and Dapper. Um, I've reached for all five of these. I think they're really, really nice. And then there's the three that came in the Beauty and the Beast collection. And like, they're cute, but I don't really feel like they add a whole lot of newness, like seeing them all next to each other. So I think I can let the Beauty and the Beast ones go. My other Ofra, Ali Dawson one in Kaya and as much as I love the Koa gloss, because it's so sparkly and pretty, and this is a nice color, 
Um, I just have so many like brownie neutrals. So I think I'll give this particular one to a friend just so it can get more use. The two from the uh, Odin's Eye Angie Halloween collection. We have Swamp Fog and Shadow Creature. They're just kind of like a neutral-y, brown-y color and then a red. Um, these are kind of similar to the Kaleidos Lip Clay formula, like very moussey. Um, I like these. I think I'll keep them. I have these two from KVD Beauty. We have Lolita 2 and Plath. I don't think Plath is available anymore, but it's such a good color. Um, and Lolita 2 is nice. No, I don't think I need Lolita 2 anymore. Like it's a really good color, but I have so many similar things. I can let that one go, but I really don't want to let Plath go and it's not available anymore, I'm pretty sure. So like, I feel like I have to cherish it. These Lethal Cosmetics ones. I think these are a really nice formula. Just based on other things that I have, I don't know if I like need them. We have Breeze, Phoenix, Hydra, and Lyra. Um, super cute colors, like very up my alley, but they're up my alley because I already have similar things. So I think I can pass on these. Then there was Unearthly. And Dose of Colors. Some of these unearthly ones still say Alien Cosmetics because this was their old name. Um, let's see. Which of these colors do I need to keep? I need to keep Mandy, this grungy green. Um, I really like Angela, this purple. I think Linda is such a good color. And same with uh, Samantha. And for some reason, these two colors I love wearing in like the winter. I don't know what it is about like a berry toned lip. It's just very winter to me. Oh, definitely Jeanette. This like mustardy brown, have to keep it. This is a really good formula too. Like it's very like kind of satiny. Like it's not like dry your lips out matte. It has a little bit more of like a satiny kind of vibe like it's not creamy emollient but it's not like suck your it's a good in between <laughs> i don't know how better to explain it Ooh, aura this one's a favorite that is such a good color um which one are you marianne that's a really good darker red minerva is also a really pretty just bright red and i don't have a lot of things that color so maybe i should keep that I should, I should set these down. <laughs> My hand's getting full. I'm gonna end up keeping all of these, aren't I? Gloria is just so pretty. Um, Flirt, that's a really good kind of pinky mauve. Let's see, we have Amber, Delight, Danielle. I do like Danielle, that's a good brown. Um, Kaylena and Dreamy. Kaylena is a really nice kind of cool tone brown. I think I wanna keep that. But these three, Amber, Delight, and Dreamy, I think I can let these go. I think these two are a little too light for me anyways. Um, and then this one, this one's fine. It's just not my favorite color of all time. I really went into this declutter so cocky. It's like, I'm gonna get rid of so much stuff. But I mean, I guess that's a good thing that I have so many things that I love, you know? And my camera is already about to die again because I didn't let it charge fully before I jumped back into it. So let's go through these dose of colors. Um, Stone, Pinky Promise, Los Angeles. Extra Saucy. Chocolate Wasted Truffle, Mondays, Strawberry Pop, Quart, Bury Me, and Brick, I think is this one the thing rubbed off. Bury Me I have to keep for winter time. Cork is my number one favorite. Mondays is also a favorite. Truffle and Stone are also longtime favorites. Like these are must haves. Chocolate Wasted is honestly also a longtime favorite. I love that brown. Pinky Promise, I feel like I need to keep just because I don't have very many bright, bright pinks. And I always feel like I need to keep it because it is bright. Like this is my brightest pink ever. It is Barbie pink. Um, Brick is such a good grungy like red. And Extra Saucy is a really pretty dark red. And Strawberry Pop is like the perfect like reddish pink. And I love Los Angeles. You know what? I'm just gonna keep them all. <laughs> if you came here for me to gut my whole collection, you're probably feeling sad right now. Started with 134, decluttered 31, I still have 103. I maybe would have condensed like some of my menagerie ones down a little bit more, just cause I personally don't walk around wearing like bright blue like this, but I'm keeping that one for work. But really I probably would have only decluttered like four or five of the menagerie ones cause I really like that formula and I love the unique colors. So yeah, not as satisfying, but let me get my grand totals and I'll report back. All right, I took a second to go ahead and just take all of my pictures and stuff. And I ended up deciding to declutter four more things, not because I feel like I have to, but just because like, as I was looking and going through everything and putting stuff away, I was like, you know, I don't think I'm gonna reach for these. Like not because they're bad, just because I have so many things. Um, so the two Odin's Eye Cream Lipsticks in Love Jasmine and Tulip A Kiss, Great colors, great formula. I just have to be honest with myself. I don't know if I will miss these if I don't have them. And kind of same with the Fantasy Cosmetica lip oils. Like I think they did a really good job with this formula. I'm just trying to think of like, when will I use these? And I just don't think these are like my perfect like lip product that I feel like driven to reach for constantly. Again, I really think they did a good job with them. I love seeing the brand expanding their range. Their new, um, oh my gosh, their new lipsticks. <gasps> I didn't talk about the new lipsticks. 
I'll do that right now. Oh my gosh. Um, but these two, I just don't know how much I will reach for them. Let me grab those lipsticks. Oh my goodness. This changes everything. Oh, my fan is going. Sorry. It started to get hot. You know, I, I couldn't help myself. Um, but there's, there's a bunch of lipsticks now. There's eight of them. And they're all super cool colors. I just recently posted a lip swatch video on shorts and on my Instagram, uh, maybe a few weeks ago by the time this video goes up. But yeah, these are all really good. I genuinely loved every color. I think they're creamy and comfortable and I'm definitely gonna keep these. Oh man, now I need to add eight to the total. Let me update all my totals. All right, I've returned. I only forgot about these because they're in the drawer in front of me since I was reviewing them and stuff recently. Um, but the grand totals, we started with 352. Man, that number has changed so much in this video. <laughs> it's really hard to keep track of this many items, but 352 things. I ended up decluttering 98 and now I have 254. Definitely did not go as brutal as I thought I was going to, but you know, I don't feel bad about it. And as I was like taking pictures and organizing stuff, I'm like, this is amongst like four different categories. This is pencils, lipsticks, glosses, and liquid lipsticks. Is it still more than one human probably needs? Sure, but I I'm not mad about it. This is actually my first time doing my lip declutter in this format where it's all like one giant thing. Usually I break it up into pencils and lipsticks, glosses, and then liquid lipsticks. And I'm really glad I did it as one unit because it just gives me such a clear understanding of what I do have. And I feel really good about it. 254 things, that's not so bad. It's a lot, but I, I like to have a variety too, you know? Um, so yeah, here's the picture of the 352 total things minus the Fantasy Cosmetica lipsticks because I did not have them and I'm not retaking that picture. <laughs> here are the 90 things that I ended up decluttering. And then here are the 254 things, again, minus the Fantasy Cosmetica lipsticks because I forgot and I'm not taking the picture again. Um, but those are all the pictures in case you want to see it laid out. Um, I feel good. I feel good just kind of condensing it. I feel inspired to use certain things again, like that peanut butter buster lipstick from Beauty Bakery. Um, I will try to use that soon, maybe even today. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm gonna zoom out so we can finish up this video. Thank you so much for watching. As I said in the intro, I haven't filmed the declutter portion yet as I'm filming this intro and outro, and I'm just so itching to not only like get it done, but to also just see how many I start with and how many I end up with. I'm so curious. I can't wait to see how it goes. If you made it to the end of this video, why don't you leave, you know, leave some lipstick related emojis, whether it's the colors that you like to wear or the lipstick emoji itself, leave some lip emojis down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me over on Instagram. I'm Batty Bean there as well. Also feel free to subscribe. I'm posting most days over here. You can also join my channel memberships. The link to sign up will be down below. You'll get fun little perks, including a members only video once a month. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.